Well, good day, tubes. How's she going? So, got a story for you guys today. Holy, but uh, one thing's leading to another again. Just the way it always seems to work. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's do the little intro here and then um, tell you this big story. Alright, so, um, you know, the other day there when we were working on the compressor stuff here, I showed you those pulleys and stuff I got, which are just over here. Let me grab them. And, uh, I was trying to work out a, a dewey here for, uh, you know, making her work on the shaft and stuff. And, um, didn't just like it, you know. I got them home, did a bit of messing around there, I guess, Saturday night or something. And actually, when they're sitting like this together, they're too wide. They're actually wider than uh, the belt width is wider. So, hang on, I can't see in the little screen. Okay, the uh, the belt width is wider, and that's as tight as I can get these fellers. So, as you can see, the try to get that in the center roughly, something sort of like uh, kind of sort of like that. Uh, you can see she's a lot wider, wider width there. So I'm like, don't like that. So I thought, well, what the heck, let's take a ride to Princess Auto, see what they got for pulleys, and uh, we'll see what they got for pulleys. So off we went to Princess Auto. Got to Princess Auto, and oh yeah, they got double pulleys, just like that. They don't list them on their website though, which I was kind of ticked about, but that's okay. Now, of course, you know, didn't know what size to get for this motor. So I thought, hmm, well, I looked at their compressors down there, and they had compressor with a flywheely thing about that big on it, compressor pump, flywheel, pulley thing about that big on it, and then they had on the motor one about this size. I'm like, oh, okay, that's interesting. And then I thought, well, that's probably for running... That size is for running quite a bit bigger motor, like a five or a seven and a half horse or something, eh? So I thought, well, mm, better not get one that size, but you know, what the heck, I might as well, it's cheaper for me to buy one, bring it home, than it is for me all the way drive all the way back down there just to get one pulley. So I thought, okay, let's get this, get this, we'll get this, we'll get this right down to this size here, which is, I don't know what size that is, it's smaller anyway. But uh, anyways, yeah, so I was looking at their... Um, the pulleys, of course, picked them out, and just sort of kitty corner was um, some electric motors. I'm like, hmm, interesting. And it just so happened that they had the uh, five horsepower on sale for sixty bucks off. I'm like, hmm, a little more interesting. <laughs> so this one, as you remember, is um, give it a wipe here. A little bit of a small one, three horse, thirty-four fifty RPMs though, which is good. And uh, 220 volt, of course, too, right? So I thought, hmm, well, the five horse motor wasn't too bad, so that's what they're running down there is like the five horse with this and the bigger pulley. So that's what I thought. Uh, well, they're running that. I'm going to run that too. So we got a motor. <laughs> we brought a bigger motor home. Motor home. Hey! That's no, that's not a new word. Tricked you. But, anyways, uh, yeah, this is a five horse motor. Um, 5 HPs, 3450 RPM still, phase 1, uh, 208, 230 volts, 22 amps. Woo! My wire will carry that much. It's pretty thick a wire I got on this, so it should be probably okay. Uh, I know it probably tells you on there somewhere. Uh, 300 volts, uh, 10 gauge wire. So hopefully that's still going to be enough. If not, I guess we're going to have to run some new stuff. And uh, i got to actually go pop the, the Dewey off the Dewey there for this. Um, but anyways, uh, one sweet cool thing about this woo, is, I think, this tank, this tank, when I got this tank it had nothing on it, right? It was just tank and this stuff. I don't know if it fell over and it broke a Dewey off or whatever, but... Didn't care, it was cheap, so I brought them home. And uh, I think they must have had a motor about this size on it. Because 
these holes line up here. These elongated holy things. So that is super sweet because it saves me having to figure all that out. See there, they're lined up there too, right? So we'll be able to get some belts. That'll be like the most extreme right there for lengthwise. And uh, we'll be able to adjust her in about that far. So we got quite a bit of an adjustment there, which is good. So whatever we're going to figure out, by the time we get that feller on, we should be good. But anyways, um, I should go pop the breaker for this. Like I, it's off here, but as soon as I push that on, yeah, these are live. So she's off right now there, but um, I kind of feel better maybe if I had popped that. But I also want to pop this off too. Oh, it's full of sandblast sand. Oh, I'm so scared. It's a lot of pressure there. Oh, can't do it. I'm so scared. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'll get that after. <laughs> I just don't want to pop it right now. Um, so, anyways, we got um, we got bolts here still. So I guess I could. Uh, Get this thing starting to mount down. She's other got other holes here too, which I thought was interesting. So those bolts. Probably should put some bigger washers under there, but I guess that'll probably still do. And uh, we'll get that slow, sort of loosely cranked on there. Oh, that's sweet. You can see the bearing in there. Hmm. So I also learned something about these motors too. This is really not a very good motor um, because it's called that open drip proof thing or something, whatever it is. So basically there's a fan in here that sucks air out, but it sucks all your crud and all your junk and stuff in as well. So if it's really dusty, crappy condition, you're getting all your stuff in there on all the, the windings and all that crap, and apparently that's not good for them. So I wonder why that's pushed. Hmm. I better maybe just hook this fella up first and then try her and make sure she's still good. Let's mount her down first though. Okay, so this is not normally how I practice things. You gotta remember this, but I just wanted to test this motor just to make sure it's okay. Um, funny because this, um, the other motor had these clip dewies in it. I think I put the cover back on this one so I wouldn't lose it, but yeah, I did. It had these clip dewies that you clipped inside of the like control board in here, like sort of like these fellers, you know inside here but uh, this one doesn't it's just got the bare wire sticking on so I'm like hmm okay but anyways uh, just roughly 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 hooked up here and we're just gonna flick this on oh. that's got some power holy shnikes I think that's gonna turn her pretty good boys I'm hoping oh look it unplugged itself sweet but anyways, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, I guess. Um, I guess now we can start tearing apart the uh, compressor side, get that uh, feller off. And, um, yeah, sweet. All right, I think we're ready to peel this little feller off here. And uh, while we're doing that, I'm going to tell you another little story. So, um, of course, you know, heading down to Princess Auto there to look for pulleys. And... Uh, Something I've been sort of waiting for a while to happen, finally happened, was, um, you know, for a long time I've had the bearings for my truck to put in, the bearings, hub assemblies. I thought, oh, I'll just wait till the brakes are, you know, down low enough and then we'll do it all at once, right? So, of course, getting halfway down there, got to hit the brakes a little hard to stop. And, uh, all of a sudden I hear a... Right to the stop. I'm like, oh, it's time for brakes! <laughs> So, I'm like, yeah, that figures. As soon as I got my air compressor apart, brakes go. But uh, anyways, uh, let's see if we can get this thing off of here. So I went and got parts this morning for that. I'll show you those in a second here, once we pull this fella off. Oh, holy cow, this is a heavy one too. Oh, oh man. Ah. So anyways, yeah, of course, you know, get down all the way down to the bowels of the city there, and I got, like, still had brakes, but, you know, if I hit them real hard a few times, I probably wouldn't have any brakes, so. <laughs> well, it's good they give you the new clip deweys for the calipers. There's the 
pads. I want to have a look at these. And I don't know what it is now. These freaking brake pads is all you can get is this ceramic stuff, and I do not like these things. Yeah, they last a long time and stuff, but there's a thing about lasting a long time and having good brakes. These ones that last a long time, they go hard, and uh, they, uh, they still break and stuff, but I like those organic ones a lot more better, you know, so. Oh, look at these. Iron are pretty ones. But uh, apparently that's, oh, nice. Look at that, brand new. Already got a crack in it. Wow. Huh. Better check them all out here, I guess, eh? I don't know, maybe they dropped them or something. That one looks okay. That one looks okay. That one looks okay. Holy crap, eh? So, uh, now do I return these, or... It's not like it's right through, not really super deep, but... Crap, which one was it now? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Well, there it is. But it's just basically like the top dewy thing here that's a little cracked, but really? Oh, my. oh that's not a huge big deal, I guess. So I got those. I always do it in pairs, you know. That's why I got I got two bearings over the floor too, and uh, the bearings are fine in the truck, as far as I know. Still, it's just the bloody sensors are screwed up, giving me the warning lights on the dash, right? So he says to me, "Do you want just the regular, regular ones, or do you want the ones that are coated?" I'm like, "Uh huh." And he's like, "Well, coated ones they won't rust." I'm like, "Yeah, okay." So I thought I'd try a set these coated ones and there she be it looks nice but I bet you in five six months time they always go rusty and crappy of course inside of there and I've seen them get so bad that they'll actually like fall apart so it sort of looks like one of those wall clock things eh you know like you see like the nice clock or something on there but um, it is metal <laughs> But coated with what? Like that's not gonna that's gonna rust anyways, but whatever. So yeah, we got brakes to do on the truck and bearings and stuff the next couple of few days. And of course it couldn't happen when it was nice and warm out either, could it? No no, it has to be crappy. But anyways, uh what are we gonna do next here? Let's have a look see. Alright, so I'm kinda thinking maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to get a little bit of a template built up here. Just so I can get things marked on the tank thing here before uh, we get that feller hauled up there and I can't uh, move her, right? So, what I have to do is take apart my trusty pen. I just need that little dewy for scribing inside the holes. That'll give me the dimensions of what I need for, uh, you know, holes. That's not bad. Okay, put our trusty pen back together. And we're good. Okay, so now we're just going to mark the outside edge of this dewy here. And then we'll be able to cut this fella out. And we'll know what, uh, what size to make stuff and hopefully she's going to fit. We won't have to make a plate, but we have to make a plate. We have to make a plate. Okay. Should roughly go there. This should roughly go there. Okay. Now. You're probably asking me, how the frick did you get the paper under the... <laughs> well, let me tell you, it wasn't easy. <sighs> Basically what I did, I was... Uh... Oh no. Okay, 
think we're good. All right. Okay. There's our paper. Let's just slide this over the wall. I tried getting the flywheel off of this too. Flywheel! Pulley! Off of this too. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I didn't have a puller, so I didn't uh, make out too off. But anyway, so let's get this little feller cut out of here. I'm gonna, oh, it's not funny. You'll laugh at this, just scribing holes there. I actually got one that's called the old shag fish. It was a really bad hairdo. <laughs> okay, so let's just trim a bit more of this so we actually got the size we're needing. And I'm really hoping that this is just gonna fit. Otherwise, I guess we're building that plate. Okay, now I should probably get those drilled out of there too. How did I do that last time? I think I used uh... Hmm. I can't really remember off the top of my brain right now, but I think I used uh, a socket. The socketer. Use this little feller and just tap around it and it whoa, will actually cut through your paper, right? That's actually that. It might work. Let me get tapping at this. We'll get those popped out of there. Oh, geez, this is working better than I thought. I figured it was going to. That's super awesome. So we got actually quite a bit of room on each side. So I'm going to mount her, I guess, as far about as way as I can. So about there. Put her right on the edge, I guess, like that, right? So we'll have to make sure we get her bang on center. No problem. And I'll take my uh, big old Sharpie here and we'll mark the uh, the Deweys there. And I uh, would have liked to use my air drill to do that, but I guess I'll have to use something else. So anyways, let's uh, get marking and drilling and uh, hopefully mountain. That'd be nice today. Get that on there. All right, so we're good. Uh, what I'm going to do is, like you can see the Deweys here, what I'm going to do is try to smush a the Dewey there in the center so it makes her a bit easier for the drill to get started. Good. Well, that one didn't go so good. <laughs> and it looks like the uh, pump will take a 7 16 bolt, but I'm going to do a half inch so I got a little bit of play in room. That way, if it doesn't line up perfectly, the belts, you can maneuver it a little bit, right? I don't even know what shape this fits in. I'll try her. Should actually probably be draw on, driving, uh, so maybe I will. A little pilot he holds first, right? That might be a little more better. Maybe. If I can get the drill bit in. Wow. Pretty much sure that's a brand new bit. Everybody watch this. See the wobble? Nice. Okay, let's try another one. I got a whole kit of these things, eh? Wow, maybe it's my drill. Hmm. Something's wobbly somewhere, boys. That bit's wobbling like crazy. I didn't tighten the bit down, eh? So, as you can see, stupid thing. Stupid thing. Oh, 
Better get a tightener Dewey here. Hang on. Give her a, a tightening. Ugh! I thought that's going to help at all, but... Oi! Well, we're through. Okay, number two here. These aren't very good bits, they're pretty cheesy. I guess he's already screwed. Yeah, almost. Yeah, it's not too good. This was a pretty chintzy kit when I got it. I pretty much use it, wear it out, and then throw the bit away. Freaking jank. I do have one of them sharpening Deweys, but uh, uh, nobody got time for that. <laughs> if I sprayed a bit of junk on that, it might help, eh? Sprayed me right in the face. Didn't taste too good either. Seriously? What the frig? I think my drills may be screwed. Hmm. Yeah, it's loosening up. Oh, that's not good. See that one over there? Close enough, I guess, eh? Well, that one's fair. Let's see if we can finish this fella off. And we'll get the bigger bit in. All right, now let's get the big fella in here. And hopefully, still got enough life in him. This is one of these super awesome bits that's got like the flatty edges on it. So it um, actually uh, doesn't uh, really need to be tightened too much. Okay. Let's give her. We'll do this one first maybe. Earplugs in for the next one. We got straw in this can. Yeah, that didn't work too bad. Okay. I'm gonna throw some earplugs in. Okay, we're good. I'll do this one back here first.
she's getting dull, boys. Let's see if we can get these finished here. Oh. Okay, last but not least, smells like the bit's getting hot. I'm thinking we better take this uh, pipe apart here. Um, I got the uh, the Dewey shut off. There is still pressure in this tank though, but uh, I think we should be good. Now if I can get her to come apart here. Oh, now I got her jammed. Oh, come on! You've got to be kidding me. Really? It's working around there. But I think that's going to work. Surely is. Surely is. So what I'm thinking of doing um, for uh, the main line out of the compressor now is get a hydraulic hose made up with the proper fittings that'll just screw right into there, right into my, uh, mm, probably right into this Dewey. Just run her down. Um, yeah, that sh it'll still come out the same end here. It'll come down here and then right into the Dewey. I think that'll work actually pretty good. So, um, another thing I might want to do is, is just move this feller a little bit here, twist her a bit, um, I think I have to basically crank it on tighter, which I can do, but there's the little activator line thing here, and I didn't bring the right one. A little activator line dewy thing here that, uh, oh my goodness, seriously? Must be 13. We'll get it yet, boys. This line turns your power on and off. So basically, it senses when the pressure is low and then it clicks the thing on inside. Oh man, what the heck sizes are these things? 11 and 12 and 13 or something? Oh, wow. 12 for corn flakes. 12, 10, it must be like an 11. Oh, we got an 11 somewhere here, boys. There's an 11. Oh man, maybe they're like 
Not metric crap. Stupid things. Uh, well, that might be a 7 16 maybe. There. Okay. Now we get her separate. So in this line too, though, is a little bleeder valvey thing. I'll have to get all that figured all out too because it's going to change now when I. Because I won't be able to incorporate it into the line as I did before here. Okay, so that's clear. Now, actually, I'm going to have to take all this apart anyway, so I'm going to have to drain my tank out, I guess. Okay, let's let her sit a few minutes or two here, and then uh, we'll get her all drained out. Alright, so we got her venting out to, uh, out to the garage there. And, uh,. Everything's looking pretty good, uh, pretty good, pretty good. Um, this uh, fitting thing here, I might have to incorporate it into the, this thing here somehow for uh, the Dewey. Um, see, the sort of idea behind these things is for the uh, compressor to be able to start with basically no load already on it. Load meaning air pressure pushing against everything inside already. So basically what this does when it shuts off, it the air all out of that line, right? So she may not get that now. Well, it works anyways. So I may have to see if I can find a little bit bigger one of them or... I don't know, boys. So you can kind of see here how that would sort of kind of work. Like this little thing that's screwed in here. It doesn't let, uh, there's the line screwed into the side, so any air from there all the way back to the compressor gets bled off when this thing shuts off, right? Let's have a looky see inside of here, too. If I can get this off again. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, you can see the little bleeding valve there when, uh, I don't want to turn it on, but basically it's, it's bleed, bleed mode now because the thing's shut off. Let me go uh, flick the power switch off here. Okay, so power's off. I tricked you. I tricked you. Okay, so compressor's running right now, right? We just turn the switch on. Imagine that going. Okay, so she's getting full, she's getting full, she's getting full. And then she shuts off. Um, this gets tripped. How the heck does this work now? I gotta figure it out myself again. But basically, the, the power gets cut by this switch thing here. Sets, sets the power off. And, uh... That's actually off there now. Now, something trips inside here with this switch thingy. I can't really 100% remember now. But basically, it's like you did this. And it pushes a little Schrader valve in there. Which bleeds all your air off the line, right? I can't really simulate it unless it's actually in operation. But there's something in there that does trip. It's something in this little mechanism-y thing in here. I can't really remember now. But that's how they work anyways. Kind of, sort of, no. So, yeah, we're good. We're still draining it. We still got oh, almost 20 PSI left in there. So, I um, think what I'm going to maybe do is just pop... Man, that means I gotta take all the wire off and everything. Oh, I didn't really want to do that. <sighs> okay, well, we'll figure this out here. Alrighty, so uh, we just did the uh, Remembrance Day service out here at 3 o'clock. They do a little sunset service, they call it. Uh, I did do a video of that last year there and put it up on the channel. So if you look up Remembrance Day under the little looky thingy there, the finder thingy, you'll probably be able to see that it's the same thing every year. So I didn't film it this year, but anyways, uh... <sighs> Where were we? <laughs> Tank is drained. That should be good. I'm thinking of sizing all this stuff up a bit too. Um, ugh, what else now? What are we doing now? Tank's drained. I guess we're going to pop this feller off wherever it's going to 
kind of decide itself to come off. Um, oh yeah, but the cord's still there. Oh, I gotta take the cord off, I guess. Really didn't want to have to do that, but um, uh, maybe, uh, <laughs> it's one of those things that's like, oh really? Okay, so I wonder what we have to do here now. These things, one's this way and then the other one's coming in from that one, so I better pop those things off so I can take this thing right out of here, I guess. Alrighty, wire's off. Um, I'm gonna try to take her off here, I guess. Good, that's off. All right, we'll just set that there for a second or two. Um, I'm just gonna screw that back on so I know where that one went. Okay. Now, what else do I gotta do? That can be opened. Oh, there's still a bit of pressure in there. Oh, that was just what was in the line. That's funny. That is funny. Um. I guess this whole line here can probably come off. Of course, that's not the right one. Oh. Just want to twist the whole thing here. Yeah, I might not be able to use this thing again. I don't really know yet. We're going to have to... Uh, See what's going to happen here. We may not uh, be able to, to use that with this new configuration here. But uh, anyways, I think oh, I got to put that ground screw back in. Cap can go over here and uh, get stuff a little more organized here. I think we're almost ready to hoist this big fella up. All right. Well, it's been nice knowing you guys. I've enjoyed making videos for you. <laughs> this might be it. I don't know. Oh crap. The floor's not perfectly level there, but uh, we'll just try her here, I guess. Oh, this is gonna really hurt. Now, I'm gonna try to put her up with the fly on pulley on this side. I kinda got a bit of fear that it's. For some reason, it's going to be too big here for a second. Let's just see. I kind of want to pick her up this side, but then it's going the wrong way. But, uh, well, I'm like the present, I guess. Whoa, that's not going to work. I'm going to grab the thing on. Arr. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Big feller, big feller. Actually, it's pretty close. Now it's got to be the other way though, right? Which is gonna be interesting, boys. Oh, halfway there. Snorting at me, will you? Okay, we are fairly close there. It's actually fairly solid. Okay, I gotta go find some bolts, some uh, 7 16 bolts, and uh, we'll get this feller bolted down here before she falls over. All right, we got nuts and bolts and all kinds of good stuff here. Now, hopefully. All goes well here. These will be the right length. Or, oh, or I might have to dig out some shorter ones. Or actually, put the uh, what I'm putting together here, put it together right, uh, maybe even more better. Okay, where'd that hole go? 
so. Well, I can't see down there, so. Okay, that one's in. And there's a, ow, a little bit of stuff in the hole there. Uh, hopefully we've got it right here, boys. Uh, uh, uh oh. Because the hole's a little bit bigger underneath there, I got um, some little bit bigger washers. And, oh, it's not going to work. That is not going to work. It's not, uh, those washers are too wide. Oh, crap. No, I can't get it out. Figures. That was jammed. Jammed. Isn't that awful? Okay. Okay, I gotta go find a couple more washers and uh, then we'll get putting her together here. Alright, so we're just cranking down the last one here. we were doing so super good and uh you, yeah we are and then we aren't uh <laughs> our little slotted things here when i got the, the pulleys all on here just not gonna line up we need to uh move something over here they were sitting about here so yeah you can see the definite misalignment there that's uh really not good <laughs> so basically we need to drag it over to pretty much this thing hanging off the end Right about there somewhere is pretty good. I just had an old cord here kind of giving me a bit of a rough idea where where things kind of want to sit, right? So it's actually over a bit more. So of course we're right in this, you know, and uh, hanging off the edge now. But uh, hmm, what can we do? to solve that problem. Actually, no we're not. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm looking at this hole for some reason. It's actually this one here we're going to use. And... Oh, saved. <laughs> saved. Okay, so that's not so bad then. But uh, there's what we're looking at anyways for, for drive-wise. Holy shnikes, eh? Wow. But anyways, um, guess what I'm going to have to do is uh, make sure I got this bang light right on where I want it and then we'll sharpie these holes a little bit there and elongate them sort of like these ones here and uh, and then I guess we'll maybe have to plasma cut that probably be about the best route and uh, we'll be looking pretty good I think then well there's a sharpie marks these fellers here let's just have to move over just a hair right eh? not much not much really <laughs> it was just enough that shaft on that motor was you know another inch and a so longer <sighs> half inch longer it probably would have worked but it wasn't so it's not so that's it but uh, anyways I guess we'll uh, probably plasma cut these tomorrow don't know if I'll get into this today or not we'll leave it for tomorrow I guess and then uh, 
tomorrow we can get the motor mounted and stuff and kind of roughly you know I guess you should start it closer to the compressor kind of lock her down and then we'll get a belt measurement roughly of what we need see if we can fetch a couple of belts bring them back and then um, bring them back and then plunk them on we can get her kind of turned back in and uh, we'll also have to get a hose made what I'm gonna do is try it just running it from in here right down into the main here they're both the same size so we can get a three-quarter inch hose made up might actually do a thing come out and then do a bend and then around and then in maybe I don't know what size of hose he's gonna use for that so it might be like wicked super hard heavy duty hose but I'd rather have a little bit so it has a bit of time to cool before it kind of gets down into the tank is sort of the idea but uh, cause imagine this thing is gonna make some heat oh mama but uh, yeah for today I guess that's pretty good we'll get working on this again tomorrow because I need my air back you know kind of SAP kind of thing so but uh, at least the compressor is good she's good so but anyways till tomorrow uh, have a good night we'll talk at you tomorrow and uh, working some more on this thing.